Ok. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's not like last year. Yeah. 
Um, well, that is, well, that's why I wanted to do something at both places for the people that aren't in Section 1, but then again, I hesitate because there's no lights. Um, but to do something for Halloween. Yeah, well, I think that also helps with the people on Foley, because most people, I mean, on Foley, we're not going to be able to. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, it looks like it's going to rain. You could do something in the pavilion. Let's take a little bit of rain on. Yeah. I mean, you could just pass out paint or something. They sure are a lot of people for the trailers that are waiting in their driveway for the kids to come by, though. I'm sorry? They sure a lot of people with in sitting in their driveway waiting for us to come by with the kids. Oh, yeah. but this And this is just if people don't, because there's people, I've had some people say that they don't like the kids running through their yard. But they like to hand out candy. Mm -hmm. So I figured that could be an option. So um, most, of, most everybody sets up in their driveway. Nobody yeah. really goes through the yard. We mean yeah. that they don't like them coming through the yard. Well, because a lot of kids just go running straight through somebody's yard instead of up the driveway or up the sidewalk. And the, the, like the blow ups and stuff that have the tie downs, you've got kids that trip over the tie downs. And that's one more to watch. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You know, but. I'd say leave it the way it is. It's been working good for years. Oh, no, just. Something extra. Oh no, no, no! Not to take away, just something extra. Sure. If people okay. want to do that, then we can you help. Can do that, and, and yeah, yeah, this is just to add, yeah, add something extra, just so mm -hmm. that the name the that we are doing. People that not real keen on taking their kids out, they're scared. They, like, that's a little bit easier for them. About fifty percent of the kids hey, that come out here <laughs> don't live here. Yeah, that's right. right. That's where I'm at. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. well, they're yeah. usually they're usually the ones that come in after it gets dark and a little bit later. Yeah, and you recognize them right off the bat. And this boy on Wednesday, he has to be knocking on the door at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 18, and I trick or treat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that was the only, I mean, I heard that that was really fun, but then there was a the problem of people just dropping their kids off, them kids jumping on the trailers, and nobody knowing who's the hit kid. The last time we traveled. Yeah. Everybody I've seen has been pretty well supervised. Yeah, and I know that even with the rain, there were two really big ones last year. Right, right. So, but this yeah, we, we were out there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. this was just something extra that yeah. the Civic League could do, you know, to help out. And I think that there's some Halloween over. Barbara, do you know if there's any Halloween decorations in the uh, storage? I have I've never been in that storage, though. Okay. I've I think there is, so I'll run if you can run out there and check it if there is, and we'll get something together this week yeah. so that we can get that done. Okay. Um, financial reports. Um uh, number one is forty thousand one seventy three fifty seven. Probably four point maintenance account. Thirty thousand nine fifty nine three. The prepaid account is nine thousand three hundred and ninety nine point one six. Money market eleven thousand eight seventy four point seven. Pay accounts four seventy seven two. Total nine two thousand eight six seven eight. Do I have a motion to accept the financial report? Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Architectural committee. Mr. Long. Uh, there's been two submissions, uh, one was for a uh, chicken fence, uh, that's been approved, uh, to it out to them tomorrow, and there was another one for extra culverts for the driveway. Uh, so he's been a commission from them, uh, waiting on a response on that, on that before that earlier. Uh, Mike was asking me about that fence that comes out down there. He said it comes past the front of the house. So yeah. me and John yeah. went, uh, they sent us a copy of the survey. And so me and John went down there with a measuring marker and measured from the fence right. and had him move it back by two feet. That's so they, it's, so the house, it's weird because the house isn't built straight on the property. The house is almost built like this and you can see on their survey that their uh, setback line comes right to the tip of the garage and then goes across so the uh whenever we had to move it back we marked it back and it's even with this tip of the garage but it is right at the setback line well it's the only one out here that looks like it nobody else has a fence like it 
Where those cars are now, you set back down. That's, yeah. The house is like tilted or whatever. But it's in, in the neighborhood. It, it worked out to where the line was right on the edge of the water meter. So I was able to move from the water meter back and scoot him back. But yeah, he did have it. He he well, he, well ahead. Yeah, so we did make a move with that. But he is, the way that the deed restrictions are written for fences, it's got to be behind your setback line. So that's where it's at. I thought it had to be behind the house. Setback line is the way. Everybody it's else is out here up till now, it's been, you don't exceed in front of the house. Exactly, and I believe that's the way it really is. It's, and it's not in front of the house. It's even with the front of the house. But in our deed restrictions, it says that that one. So. I don't think so, because I took mine right after the road, because <laughs> I don't think that's the way it is. Bobby would know. I never did that before he passed the front of the house. That's what I thought, yeah. Well, but it wasn't coming out even with the garage. It is, even with the front of the house. Yeah, they're, they have to be okay if it's even with the garage. Yeah, it's, that's, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's that's not, not, yeah, but the setback line, no, that's not right. Yeah. What, what we came up with is where I'm making it from, it wound up being right after right, the front right, of the house. Right, right. Yeah. And that's what I told him. That's basically your reference point right, right there. Right, right. That's a detached garage, isn't it? No, it's not. It's attached. It's all is it attached? It is attached. To, it's detached to the house. No building, fence, wall, or other structure shall be placed or built on any lot in Lake Shadow, section 123, near to the front line or near to the side street line, then the building setback line. That's in the deed restrictions for section one point three. And building line and setback line are the same thing. But either way, it's at the it's even with the front of the house. That well, that's kind of about like ninety eight percent of the houses are built right on the setback line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's the reason you don't see that anywhere else. Yep. Yep. I, I can go. I don't know who would want to fence the front yard anyway. I, I can fence yeah. my front yard. Dude. Well, but that, and, and that's because whenever, whenever he was talking about it, he was like, oh no, I'm at my setback line. I said, have to provide a survey. I said, they only got 25 feet on the Florida Road. My house is about 65 feet back. That's, that's what he was trying to say. Yeah. That's yeah. the same as mine. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to build a fence 25 feet behind the road whenever it's. 20 feet in front of my house, and it's going to go right in the middle That's of the yard. That's what we're trying to base it off of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's already deep 
description on our books. You can yeah. find somebody in the neighborhood that has broken the rule. Well, well the, if you want to go to the local well, they they yeah. they they were approved. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing is the ones that were right. built over were approved. So the one person that wanted to build over said, well, but you approved it. So that's what we're trying to figure out is even though it was approved by a previous board, if we can still go by what's written or do we have to go up to what the maximum of what the biggest one already is. And to, uh, there's one that I know of that it looks huge and it actually isn't. It's only 1,400 square feet. I mean, it's still over the 1,200, but it's not like a 2,000 square foot building. It just looks really big. Right, because there's so, one at, like near my house, but y'all don't put patios included in the building, right? No, it's that's the thing. The concrete that side, patio that comes out, it makes the building look, look huge, bigger. But yeah, but the building probably is within, in, and that's what it is. Exactly. Exactly. The enclosed part is within, but you can put a awning or carport up to the front of the yeah, even with the front of the house, so that it's even. It's even. So that's what makes it look so much bigger. So, but there are two that were built that were not approved. So. Uh, but I'm, I'm still waiting to get that back. Yeah. So once we know what the. Well, uh, hopefully it says, says hopefully it says go by your deed restrictions. Otherwise, there's no use having deed restrictions. If you gotta just say, oh, if it's in here, yeah. that's good. Well, the thing would be to update our deed restrictions to say to where everybody says under the umbrella of the deed restrictions, or if we can just, I guess, exclude that one and make sure everybody else is. Is that, that's what we weren't getting that trouble with getting their order to go and say, why can't I build a building to build right. one and somebody else did? And that's going to follow the trying. same rules as deed restriction changes as far as the metal buildings? Well, that would basically be an update, not a change. That would go into the updated deed restrictions. <coughs> you don't have to vote to change the deed Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't understand what you said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no way to just put in metal buildings. You gotta change them all. Well, no, you because we have the building regulations that were changed. We can update the building regulations. Okay. But, but that's where I'm trying to get that the attorney to tell me if I can add in the building regulations or if we have to change the deed restrictions and, and see what to do on that. Okay. That's that's it for me. That's, that's all, right. all the excitement I got. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion to approve architectural report? Motion mm -hmm. moved. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Uh, Any no's? Okay. Deed restriction committee. Uh, there was uh, seven letters on that. I had it pulled up on my phone. I'm sorry. Now I lost my phone. <laughs> I'm losing everything. Without giving any names or addresses or any of those letters about there's a residence it's that, a that doesn't have a driveway. Huh? He has grass instead of, you know, over his culvert that has been that way for years and years. Wow. Do you know what road it's on? Uh -huh. it's three houses down from my house, so it's on a short one. Um, it doesn't have a driveway. It, it hasn't had one. It's always been grass since I've lived here. Yeah, it's supposed to have one paved yeah. yeah. I just didn't know because, I mean, y'all did send letters on some other stuff with them and they did fix it. So oh, is it, the same, is, it the, is it the same house that I kept parking on? Oh, I thought, I, okay, I thought that was just overgrown, but that is not, there's no driveway in no, that? that's all. Oh, okay. It's just grass. It's <laughs> always been grass. I figured it was just overgrown because the whole house was overgrown. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, house. Uh, oh, I don't know. I mean, round about is probably the seventies, eighties. Yeah, it's it's it been, it's not a sixties. No. And it's never had a driveway. No. I mean, he has, it doesn't fall the 
in his house, it's just over the ditches grass, and then he has concrete in front of his garage. Okay, so that's probably why I thought it was just overgrown, because I thought I saw something over Yeah, there. no, it's it's just over, you know, yeah, whatever the first 10 feet is. Does they have cover? Mm-hmm. Well, there has to be something over that cover. They could have just put it around. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no yeah. cover. Yeah. It's just either rock or gravel. It's yeah. grass. Gravel or asphalt. Okay. It's no asphalt.
I'm supposed to meet with somebody in the neighborhood to update some pictures. Um, so I'm working on it. But it's, okay. it's going. Um, let's see, new business. Uh, the bookkeeper. We had um, the ad out for the bookkeeper for six weeks. We got two uh, resumes. One was for somebody out in um, Baytown. I don't know how she got the information for the bookkeeper, but we don't really want to move our books out of the neighborhood. Um, we had somebody within the neighborhood that says resume uh, completely overqualified for the job. Um, um, Sherry was ready to turn over her books. She was done. She didn't want to do the books anymore, so um, we did go ahead and let Darla Lackey know that we all agreed to go ahead and hire her. It was two, two resumes. She was the better qualified of the two either way. Um, she has taken over the books. Um, so she's she trained with Sherry for two or three weeks. Um, caught it on real quick. Um, so we moved everything over to her house. It's in a separate area. She's got a nice little area. All situated for her. Has Did all she do it tonight? Do what? Did she do the, the financial she, tonight? Yes. Yes, she she does all of this. She is now doing all the stuff for us, and she turns it over to us for us to do the reports. Um, I think we kind of all talked about this. This went back and forth over emails on whether we would require the bookkeeper to be at the meetings, and we don't see why it's required. Um, so if she can make it, she'll make it. If not, she prints everything out. She goes over the financials with Nora, and Nora gives the reports. Um, do I have to, there's nothing to go on that. So do I have to approve it? Okay. Um, officers and directors' emails. Um, every board member has a Lake Shadows email. So we've got uh, president.lakeshadows at yahoo.com and vice versa for every board member. All the board members have their uh, website, uh, their email addresses. We're going to start using those now to where any correspondence that goes between the board goes to that Lake Shadows email. That's so that it stays within Lake Shadows. No more personal emails are going to be used. Um, if one board member comes down, another one comes on, they can go back, read through all the emails, and everything's there. Um, I think we all agree that emails are part of the Civic League and part of the neighborhood, and they need to stay there and not personal emails. Um, so that's up and going. That is on the website. Um, and it does state that to allow us to, you know, allow us some time to get back to people on emails and stuff like that. Um, but there are new email addresses. So if y'all accept mine, accept it. Well, yours is still like shadows of it. Um, so if anybody has an issue getting on, just let me know. Social media. We did ex talk about this at our executive meeting. Um, Social media is a great way to inform the neighborhood of what's going on. Uh, we're going to have a Halloween party. We're going to have a work day. Just information, informative only. Um, there's been some question on crossing lines or discussing HOA business. So what we discussed at the executive meeting is, so what do we consider HOA business? Any financials, anything regarding homeowners, personal properties, personal names, personal addresses. Um, that would be considered HOA business. We don't approve on social media. We don't, you know, what are the guidelines for building a shed? It's on the website. Please go to the website. Those, that's going to be the only thing that is going to be done. Um, but we would like to use social media so that we can let the neighborhood know more of what's going on. Um, and it's, you know, informative. Just try to get more people involved. Um, there's three Lake Shadows Facebook pages. There's actually five. I think there's one there. There's five. One is inactive. Um, I did try and get a hold of the person that has the one that's inactive. <coughs> she were, had the um, she had a Lake Shadows page and she stopped. She in, she deactivated the page April of 2016. Um, she does not want the page reactivated. So it's kind of going back and forth whether we do a Lake Shadows Facebook page. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that, but it will not be a comment page. It's just going to be 
And for right now, if there's something going on, we'll go on to the three Lake Shadows pages, the main one, the forum, the community, and the Crosby page, and post what's going on. Um, so basically, it would be set up as a person named Lake Shadows versus the group. Yeah. Can we knock it down to one? Sir? Can we knock it down to just one? Well, the, the people that admin those three pages are three for people within the neighborhood. Anybody can start a Lake Shadows page. Well, I know, but so, that, was, that was the kind of idea to come up with a Facebook page. We just post yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just have one. And then, and then, then if anybody wanted to share it with the other one. Yeah. yeah. But until people get to, until people start seeing that there is a Lake Shadows Facebook page, we'll post to those and you'll, people will start catching on, okay, well, we'll like and follow that page and eventually we'll just post the information on that Lake Shadows page. I don't know which one to go to. I really don't. Well, and, and the one, the one that, that the one that was deactivated, that one was up for three years, and yeah. I read every single post on that, and it was, hey, we're having a maintenance meeting at the park on this day. Hey, we're doing an ACC meeting at the park on this day, and I think Flo really, really, really well. She just doesn't want. She, I don't think she knows how to turn over admin, and she just kind of doesn't want to deal with it, which is fine. Um, Shut it down. It's deactivated, so okay. you can look it up, but you can't post, you can't like, you can't join or anything like that. Okay. Um, I thought being on Facebook, so this is going to be a private or public, I mean, like, can anybody see it? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. it would be 100% public. So just well, lock it down to I mean, no comment. It, it, it would be like the, what, what you yeah. have to send in the, the well, no, 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 it would be like, like a, if you just hit like, it's going to let anybody. Yeah. No, you can lock it down with no comments. Well, you know, yeah, no comments, but mm -hmm. anybody can see the information. Right, yeah. everybody can see it. Yeah. There's, there's no comments. Yeah. As long as you do public, yeah. Right. Because, comments, so. like, the three pages that are up now, you have to you have to send in a request to get on that page. But if we're talking about doing one that posts right. into all of the groups that are already there, then that has to basically be a person named like Shadows versus a group mm -hmm. that everybody has to join. It would be a page would be a profile. Yeah. So, which means, yes, anybody can look at it and see it. Oh. So, do we, it's, do we want to create another group? A fourth page? I mean, I don't know what I'm asking, because now somebody moves in the neighborhood and they get yeah. into the group, and then when they move out, there's not somebody there going, oh, we moved out of the right. yeah. So, I don't really see an issue with it. I mean, public. somebody yeah. in New York wants to know what we're up to. Well, and like I said, it's, it's, there's, it's going to be very, you know, no financials. It, it's going to be, we're not going to be posting. If somebody goes on there, you know, it's not going to be anything that, if somebody, like I said, New York, it's going to be very minimal. Yeah. Okay. But so when you post stuff already now, Facebook is mon no, it's monitoring, it's not word. Facebook chooses to let you see some things or not. If you post some, people aren't going to see it, I'll always see it. Yeah, really but they all can search that page. No, they won't always see it. If it's public, they won't always see it. Unless you've got, you've got mm -hmm. a plot on your feed and it's way down at the bottom, you may not see it. You well, can search that page. I don't know. I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> if it's, you, that you don't, the way they do their algorithms, you don't, like if y'all post there's a meeting here, it's not guaranteed if you're on that page that everybody will see it. Well, right. No, I understand that. But so this isn't going to be, what? our website is the main source of information. Okay, just as long as everybody understands it's, that, because yeah. you, you put people can't rely on, on necessarily getting a post from Facebook about something that's going Correct. This is where just trying to yeah. added this oh, is one added to it. Yeah. Okay. Can't be your main source of communication. Correct. No, the website will always be the main source, one hundred percent place to go for information. Okay. Uh, building regulations. Um, I'm going to put on the website again um, as soon as we get, if we get a Facebook page, to try and get an ACC committee so that we can update some of the building regulations. Uh, but it's going to be ACC committee, it's going to be the restriction committee, and it's going to be the restriction rewriting committee because we need to get started on that. Um, and we do have to have a committee to do that. Um, so that will start pushing that to you. Uh, meeting times. Um, that was a whole big issue on the on Facebook. The reason we changed it is I've talked to a couple of people in the neighborhood, and then I've had a couple of people text me, and then I've had a couple of people this and that. People with kids have extracurricular Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And that's been the biggest concern about why they can't make me. Before, it was because it wasn't in the neighborhood. Well, we moved it back to the neighborhood. And now it's because it's on Tuesday night. 
and uh, to close the places in Cro and Crosby that have prodding is Tuesday nights. And then we have two people that work nights. Um, now my game, my soccer games have been changed, and my practices have been changed to Tuesday afternoons. Um, you can't so, please everybody. Well, no, you can't, no, but again, it's, it's, it's trying to, but <laughs> yeah, clearly Monday's not going to yeah. work out because look how many people are here. This was just an excuse. Like once, this and was again, this, is, this was, you know, we had to cancel this September meeting because of the line cases. <coughs> and in this meeting, if the weather wasn't raining, I don't know how I practice, but if it was tomorrow night, then we would be down to only four board members and we wouldn't have a quorum. So, um, does anybody have any suggestions on nights? I 
I made arrangements for Tuesday to make the meeting because my Mondays were booked. But luckily the baseball game was canceled, but we also have to have dance with two girls. So, mm -hmm. uh, but that's just... Saying, with, the, with the kids that are having school sports, they right. start on Tuesday nights. Okay. They go all the way through the week. Well, I know soccer's on Mondays and... So I know that's going to be in the Yeah. Well, right. to arrange so people, yeah. people that make it a priority to be here, no matter, you know, are yeah. going to be here whatever day and whatever time you have. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to be an fun. excuse for why they can't make right. it one thing or another. Yeah. Yeah. Crosby I have the meetings are on third Monday. It is? Yeah. Okay. I can okay. check right here. Okay. So it'll either be, it'll be the second list. And the meetings are always scheduled and posted 72 hours prior to the meeting. So there's the date, the time, and the place. Um, so just know the next meeting will probably be three weeks from now. All right. Versus four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And we don't have somebody doing the sign, we'll put it on the sign. Yes. yes. Me and we're going we're gonna to get with Connie and um, yeah, trying to figure out for weeks. Right after she resigned, so it's just been. Yeah, that's the page because well, you got the water board to keep up with. Yes, yeah, but aware of the. Yeah. Um, okay, um, Dropbox for ACC. We have briefly talked about this. There used to be a, well, no, there still is a box at the pool, but it's one of those plastic boxes that you put stuff in. Okay, that would be just a suggestion. A suggestion box. box. Um, I kind of talked to Juan. I would like to go. They have a metal drop box that has it has the flap on the front that you can put stuff in that keeps you know printers and stuff out, and it's got a key lock. Um, I'd like to try to put one up there so that people that want to drop off ACC um, um, applications, preferably not checks, but ACC applications stuff like that, um, so that there's one place for them to drop it other than the post office. Um, just to get somebody from somewhere in the neighborhood. Um, sounds great. And it's coming down this road. She's going to go in the way she got it. No slacks. Yeah. Medical. It is turned. Yeah. Uh, but I had thought about trying that again. Um, I'll go by there daily, check it, one, swing by and check it. Um, and most of the time, whenever we talk to people, we can tell them, hey, if you'll drop it here, we know it's there, we can pick it up. And that's just some place so that they don't have to go to the post office now. I can just stamp on it and um, stuff like that. If you can't count on the mail people, because I can really stick stuff in my mailbox. I mean, when I went to get it, the mailman had taken it. Like, yeah. I don't know if anything. So I'd like to make a motion to go ahead and purchase a metal lock drop box to put it at the pool. Um, and we'll bolt it in to where it's real hard to get it pulled out with the two by fours up and bolt it in. Why don't I make a motion for you since you can? <laughs> I was just stating what the motion was. No. Um, if I can get a motion to approve to do the drop box. Awesome. All in favor? All opposed? Okay. Okay. Um, so that is all the business that we have. Um, so we will go into public comments. There any public comments? Uh, I have something. Okay. You know, we're going to have to move that swing forward. And it's a little old scrub up down there. And they don't never make a good tree. We need to take that tree out so we can move it. Well, what we had talked about the last meeting was taking that third piece off. If we take the third piece off, and we drop it down to the actual two feet it's supposed to be, we won't have to move that uh, tree. Well, you're going to have to drill the hose anyway, so you just be able to move it wherever you want. Well, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to move the swing set over to the right a little bit. But if we drop it and we bury it to two feet, because it's only buried a foot, which puts us nine feet above yeah, the ground. It's supposed to be 18 inches to yeah. move So if we take the third piece off, move it to the right a little bit, drop it two feet, we'll have the, the safety zone around it, we'll be just fine. We won't have to move that. 
that tree. Well, why don't we just take that tree out and put a couple of good trees in? Well, we can't add trees because you have to have a safety zone completely around that uh, swing no. set. So if we so drop really, it in... Why take away two swings and we got us, you know, We're going to put them at the boat ramp. Because the swing set at the boat ramp is broken. Mm -hmm. Do you have to buy more parts? Just but, one side. Well, it is. I thought that owned, I thought it was fixed. Oh, the last I saw it, it well, was I think that was the boat ramp working. The boat ramp. The swings at the boat ramp? Yeah. That worked on that thing. Okay. Yeah, that's but that's just, it's an that's old swing set. Months. Yeah, but it's still a good one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. Well, then we can leave that one and add a new one. <laughs> but that puts four swing sets at the park and then four swing sets at the boat ramp. Really, at the boat ramp, you're going to get... You really got a problem with kids running around, people trying to launch boats. It ain't a good deal. No. Well, Something that, to think about. Well, no, but, and, but somebody had mentioned putting more equip, more playground equipment at the boat ramp so that the kids have something to do while they're trying to launch the boats. Yeah, but I think that needs, somebody needs to think about that a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're going. Yeah. Uh, that's open a, lace and all yeah, that stuff yeah. going on. And yeah, that's not a good idea. Down there. We have you that. You'll get somebody hurt. You well, got a yeah. part. But it is. You still have that in the park. Problem I have is I'm always swinging on the boat. 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 Mm-hmm. Right there for you back yeah, there. I watched the one day they come running down the hill and they just went down that one of them piers and jumped right on in. They didn't look. They just jumped in the water. There was five of them. And there were others. Okay. We'll check on them. We'll, we'll take a look at everything again before we, before we pull it up. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Alright, meeting adjourned. Oh wait, do I have to do a motion to adjourn the meeting? Nope. <laughs> you can I don't know. Yeah, you do have to. Okay, do you have a motion to adjourn the meeting?